Marriott Vacations is launching a new ownership program, Abound, targeting leisure travelers as the hospitality industry looks to capitalize on the summer season and bounce back from COVID-19. Joining us now to discuss is Marriott Vacations Worldwide CEO, Steve Wise. Steve, good to see you here this morning. So talk us through a little bit about this program. Why now? Well, thanks, Brian. Appreciate it very much. Uh, the, uh, you know, if, if you step back from it to look at it, I mean, leisure is just absolutely booming. Um, and and we're, we're very well positioned for that because we're 100% leisure focused with some of the greatest brands in the travel and hospitality business. And uh, as we have, have looked at it and we understand that uh, vacations are becoming less of a discretionary decision, many people now think that uh, they're going to take a vacation regardless of what happens in the economy. Uh, we have uh, gone about over the last two years kind of repositioning our, our offerings going forward to try to come up with what we think is the next generation of vacation ownership. And as a result, uh, we're, we've launched a, an initiative called Vacations Next. Uh, and a big component of that is our Abound program, which we announced this morning. Uh, and what that does is it allows uh, the uh, members of our three different Marriott branded vacation clubs uh, that heretofore have interacted independent of one another uh, to be consolidated into one program with a single currency and the ability to be able to travel across 90 properties, et cetera. So we think with that and uh, the relevance of the uh, of vacations becoming even more uh, more important uh, that we're very well positioned for the future. Steve, when you get all when you look at all the incoming data in your business, are, are you seeing any signs of a more cautious consumer? At this point in time, no, I we're we're running some of the highest occupancies we've ever seen. Um, and I, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that uh, we have our owners that bought the product and want to use the product. They want to be on vacation. Uh, and as a result, they're out traveling uh, as much as possible. In fact, if you look at uh, our forward uh, bookings for both the owners and our preview guests, they're up about 14% uh, for the balance of this year over what they were at this time in 2019, pre-pandemic. So uh, we're not seeing anything yet. Um, having said that, obviously, uh, we'll keep our eye on it and try to react to it accordingly. Um, when we look at the rate environment right now, Steve, um, you know, what kind of effect are we going to see on your bit? What kind of effect are you guys going to see on your business as a result of that, even as you're seeing th this high demand from customers? Well, I assume when you, when you're talking about lending rates. About uh, interest rates. Interest rates, yeah. Um, as, as about... 60% of our customers take our, our financing. Um, and uh, we, uh, we have enjoyed uh, the ability to uh, lend at a, call it an average coupon rate of 12, 12 and a half percent. And uh, up until recently, our cost of funds have been uh, sub 2%. Two, 2%. 2 so it's been a very lucrative business. Obviously, uh, as, as the base rates go up, um, the spreads will uh, tighten a little bit. And as a result, uh, we'll see a little bit of uh, degradation in, in, the, in the spread, but it's still a very, very positive and, and, and profitable business for us. Um, you know, one would say, well, just uh, raise your coupon rate accordingly, but based on the customers that we deal with, which are typically at the higher end of the spectrum, they're a little more sensitive to those high interest rates. So we have to temper the uh, whether or not we raise the rates and potentially somebody who says, well, I'll just write a check versus uh, doing it at a slightly lower rate and taking a little less spread. What kind of change have you seen in the customer profile, especially considering even with Abound, you look across millennials who are looking at travel as an aspiration, but what we've also seen over these past few years is a rise in the number of rentals, rentals excuse me, um, even for some of those kind of unique or niche experiences. So where has Marriott Vacations also kind of leaned further into where it can bring that into the portfolio? Uh, that that's that's a great that's a great question, Brad. I the um, the way we think about it is uh, by by putting a bound together, we have 90 world class resorts. We have the ability to uh, use your points currency um, across uh, 8,000 Marriott branded hotels, uh, 2,000 uh, rental homes, a uh, couple thousand of different kinds of experiences, whether they be. Uh, culinary or uh, arts or guided tours or everything else. We actually think this is very, very 
uh, positive for folks that are looking for a variety of vacation experiences where they don't have to go outside the system to be able to take advantage of that. And uh, that's one of the reasons why we've moved in this direction. Steve, thanks for being here. Steve Weiss is Marriott Vacations Worldwide CEO. Thank you.